Right, question four on page 161 does deserve some attention. It's, um, it's quite a complicated story, so let's just take it a bit at a time. The punchline is, work out Giovanni's average speed in miles per hour for the whole journey. This is what he did. He goes for a ride on his bike in the country, and he starts from the car park. Right, so here we are at the car park. And we're going to ride somewhere. So what did we do? We were going to ride for 30 minutes at 12 miles per hour. Question, how far did we go? Well, 12 miles in an hour, if you're only going for half an hour, you go half the distance. Therefore, we've got six miles. Um, he then goes up a hill. So you reach a hill now. So we, we, we've been traveling for half an hour. Um, we've gone six miles. And now we've reached the hill. So what's happening? He goes up that hill um, at 8 miles per hour, and it took him 15 minutes to do that. Alright then, so 15 minutes um, at 8 miles per hour, so we'll only be going for a quarter an hour, we'll go for a quarter of the distance, therefore we've got 2 miles. He then rides back down to the car park. How far is that? Well, the car park alone, before reaching the hill, is six miles, and the hill is a two-mile climb, it would seem. So therefore, to go back down to the car park is an extra eight miles. All right, how long did it take? It took 30 minutes. So he's obviously bombing it back down the hill, and he's flying at a great rate of knots. And uh, that's what we've got so far. Now, to work out the average speed, we need the total distance and the total time. Let's do total distance. What have we got? We've got 6 plus 2 plus the return journey 8. We've got 16 miles. And the total time. What have we got there? We've got um, 30 minutes plus 30 minutes. That's those two blocks. 30 is an hour plus the 15 minutes up the hill, plus you also stop to admire the view for 15 minutes, okay, not to be um, sniffed at. So we've got 30, 30 and two 15s, we've got one and a half hours. Is that fair enough? So distance divided by time, here we go. So the speed, in fact it's the average speed, it's still going to be the distance over time. So total distance 16, um, divide that by 1.5, well let's just call that 32 divided by 3, it makes life an awful lot easier um, playing with whole numbers and I can see if I do a short division sum, I'll be able to land it quite easily, 3's into 3 go once, 3's into 2's do not go, stick a decimal point there, 3's into 20 are going to go 6 times with 2 left over and that's going to start recurring isn't it because 3 into 20 goes 6 times with 2 left over and then 3 goes into 26 times with 2 left over so we're looking at approximately 10.7 miles per hour and that's just to one decimal place remember all these 6's will push these last 6 up to a 0.7 roughly so we're looking at 10.7 miles per hour and I'm going to leave that one because it's complicated I need you to watch it a few times um, Ah, let's just sign this off for a change. I don't usually do that. Right, so study that, and I'm going to look at the assess, see if there's anything worthwhile doing there.